of the tour. Thank you. Sorry, I forgot something. <laughs> okay. This is my tack room. It is in the main barn. And you probably cannot see, but there's a bunch of saddles and bridles and stuff on the pegs. And then up here, this is where the people stay. Probably just knock something older. Over. This is where the people stay. Right in there. We have a bed and a fireplace and a couch and some furniture. Like there's where the people stay. In the attic. Well, that's like the kids stay. I don't have a real house house. Okay. And these are my trees I forgot to show you. And then you can take them out of plastic and I use them for like scenes or something. And I got them at Menards during Christmas time, just to let you know. Okay, stay tuned for part two. Okay, this is part two. I have a, this is my room and I'm gonna show you my stable mates and all that. In here we have briar fence and mini winnies. And they are all in there. Mini winnies are in that white container. And in this drawer, we have Briar Stablemates and Paddock Pals. And there they are. Here's my Paddock Pals. And here's my... There's some Stablemates in my barn. And if you take all these Paddock Pals out, I'll show you. And if you're wondering what this is, I made it on the sewing machine. It is a Stablemate Carrier. Put my, you put your stable mates in there and you take them places. Those are all my stable mates. Yes, they are. All my stable mates. And in the last one is my Shillick, um wagons and bunny hutch and rubber bands and things in my jumping horse my shillick one and yeah and the carrier works really good and it took me a really long time to make too and um so yes and I have oh and this is the barn that I made for my stable mates out of cardboard it works pretty good and then this is my other barn that's my tack shop and my other barn for my stable mates. And then over here is my Briar Queen's Life Guard or whatever. And then this is a color by number Briar. But I did really bad because I was like 10 when I painted this maybe. And I did really bad on it, so I just repainted it black and white. And this is one of those customizing kits. I painted it and put the hair on. She's really pretty. And this is another one of my horses. I painted and put the hair on. And then this is when I sculpted and painted of the briar kits. And these are all briar kits. And I did really bad on the sculpting one. I don't like it, but it's still cool. And then we have a unicorn and that. And over here. My room is really messy. We have scenes for bra uh, for stable mates and things. This is one scene, water and things, and it goes like this, and you can play with them. And this is another scene with trees, and that tree fell off. And I'm using real rocks, and it's really easy to make. 
go to Michael's and get a scene set and you can make one. And this is this scene, another scene. And then I have that scene with the water. And this is what they are, and you can make them for like horses, and it's really fun. That's what it is. So you should go there and go to Michael's and get one. And that's in my barn. And then in here, we have um, Sheila farm animals and draft horses, plus wires and tack. And that's my Schlick and tack and stuff. And in this drawer, after my bike helmet, we have all my Schlicks. Um, there are more back there, but I have one to know. And, yeah. And that is my tour of Windy Ridge Horse Farms. Um, please comment and rate, and thank you for watching. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was not fully completed with my tour. Okay, so... I was completed with my tour, but I wanted to show you some things that I made. I only have a couple, so it won't take that long. And first of all, I made that halter, and I also made that halter, and this lead rope, and um, I also made some custom custom things and I will show you the custom things on my Arabian. First I'll show you some in the black stallion. And first I'll show you the Arabian halter I made for him. There we go. Like that. And it's got tassels and it goes between his head. And that's the first one. And here's the second one. This one might be a little bit too big for it's another Arabian halter. And I know it's really bad. I really don't like it, but it works. I'll have to get it on first. There we go. And it's really big for him, but. And there it is, it's got that, and it's got braids on the side, and tassels. And then another halter I made is this kind. There it is, and it's, and it's lead rope is kind of colored twisted too. And that's one kind. It's, these are all too big for him because I made them on different for different models. And then my last one is back here somewhere. There it is. And this one goes on either him or another horse. But I will put it on. Attempt to put it on. My gosh, it's really hard doing it with one hand because I have a camera in the other hand, so there it is. Sort of. And that one also goes through the top of his head. And it'd be looking better on a different horse, but it's not, so. Yes. That's that. Oh, and that's Kale on her horse, um, Black Gold. I forgot to introduce the people. And that's Wendy Ridge Hills vet, and this is the main rider in border. And this is a little paper bag I made out of another paper bag, Miss Minute Miniature. And that's that. Okay, so sorry I keep reading to add stuff, but that hopefully concludes my tour. Please comment and rate. This is my first video. As you can see, I am quite nervous. So, please comment and rate. 
and thank you for watching my extremely long tour.